So first matter of importance, I tried this new decaf coffee right here. Kind of tastes like cat urine. I'm not very impressed with it. But if I don't drink decaf, then I'm not going to sleep. Because having like four or five actual cups of coffee, buckets of coffee, this is a really big cup, means I can't sleep at night. So decaf it is. <laughs> Hot! I just set that down right here. Yeah. At number two, this is a brand new camera. Not that this is what I'm going to be recording most of my videos on. I still have the other big one. This one! See, it's got the microphone on top and then the little lapel mic that I record my reviews into. <laughs> but I just picked up this camera for my old family vlogging channel that we haven't really uploaded on in ages. And I figured I would try it out with a video like this to see how it does with a sit-down video as well. So, roll them! I don't know why I said that. There's nothing to roll. No, nothing's rolling. I think I need some kind of an intro. DC talking points. 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 That was stupid. Remind me never to do something like that ever again on this channel. <laughs> you know I'm going to. I'm just in one of those moods today, okay? Sorry, we haven't even talked about anything DC yet. Okay, now let's get right. Into the nerd! No, that's not my intro. How's it going, bros? What? Okay, so first off, what I've been working on lately is the Beast Kingdom Wonder Woman action figure review, and I'm just kind of working on it at my own pace, taking my time so that I can put out the best possible product I can for you guys to watch. I'm sure other people could pop that kind of stuff off really quick, just like stripper ones at a peeler bar, but I have a hard time with that because I'm such a stupid perfectionist, and I'm like, no, that's not right, and I'll go back and record whole parts again and take new pictures, so honestly, I'm just... Working at it, and, and it's gonna take the... I've talked about that too much, haven't I? Moving on. The Aquaman Movieverse stuff has been hitting people's Instagrams as well, and I still don't have them! You can sense a little bitterness there. Have you seen them figures? They look so good, and I can't wait to get them in hand. But I'm in Canada, and I can't find them nowhere on account of we almost never get the multiverse figures that people in the States get, in store. I've mentioned this before, yes, we got some of the special ones. We got the Injustice 2 multiverse figures, and we also got the Val Kilmer Batman and the Flash, John Wesley ship, but we have not seen head nor tails anywhere, maybe in Toys R Us, but anywhere else of the Superman multiverse wave. I'm talking the Turd Monster Collect and Connect Build-A-Figure wave. We ain't seen that like Anywhere! Yeah, basically when you see me with multiple copies of the same multiverse figure for customing, I've ordered those from all over the place. I'm not the guy that walks in and goes, oh cool, four in stock. Let's grab them all up so that no one else can have one. That's not me. I don't do that. I order mine all online. And also, I can't find them in town, so I can't even buy one. Seriously, there's times when I'm like, I should just move to the States because I love collecting DC stuff and you can get it there and you can't get it here unless you order it usually. Now before we go any further, I just want to let you know that I went upstairs to grab myself some hard-boiled eggs for lunch and I was perusing Instagram and it came back down to tell you that Norm Brayfogle has passed away at the age of 58. No details have been released yet about his passing, but that really sucks! Norm Brayfogle was to many people regarded as their personal favorite definitive Batman artist and he drew Batman for years. Here's an image right here of my very first Norm Brayfogle drawn cover for Detective Comics. It's just such a simple yet iconic cover that that's what caught my eye for that issue of Detective Comics on the newsstand. And then the second issue I ever owned that was drawn by Norm Brayfogle was this one. Batman and Detrigan the Demon. I mean, I went on and owned many, many other issues, but I really liked his work and it's a really sad thing that he's passed. So from this DC fan to the family of Norm Brayfogle, I pay my respects and my condolences to you. So, uh, reluctantly moving on into DC casting news, not only one, but two characters for the Birds of Prey movie have now been cast, with Elizabeth Winstead in the role of the Huntress, and then not without its controversy, Jorne Smalley Bell has been cast as Black Canary. I'm not really sure how you pronounce her name. For me, I try to keep in mind that the average film goer is not the same as the average comic reader. It's a completely different audience to some regard. There is some overlap, that's true, but my wife watches the films and doesn't read the comics, and she loves the movies, but doesn't read the comics. Yes, on a personally biased note, as a comic reader, I would rather them cast them to look as much like the comic book accurate characters as possible, changing as little as possible. But we live in a world where that's getting increasingly difficult and there's a movement towards changing 
everything to be more inclusive for everyone. I guess my final thoughts are, even though I'm more inclined to want the casting to be as close to the overall comic book origin and appearance and all that as possible, that's my initial knee-jerk reaction as a lifelong comic reader. Let's just see how she does in the role. Let's just wait and see before we start freaking out and throwing chairs and stuff. In other, more older DC news, because it's not really news, I just want to talk about it, we have the face of the Joker finally really revealed. Remember when Joaquin Phoenix's first kind of, hey, I'm in my pre-Joker Arthur, I'm a comedian that's not doing very well, street clothes images showed up online, and then there was those kind of flashes of the Joker and his makeup, and everyone was like, oh, that's horrible, or man, that's awesome, I can't wait to see more, this has me totally stoked. And people were also saying things like, that's not the final look of his makeup, that's just a makeup test. Ah, well, we were wrong, because he popped off of a subway car with other footage that began to show up online in the full Joker regalia, and that doesn't look like it's just test footage, if you ask me. And then there's more footage of him wearing that same makeup with nice close-up shots. It does appear to me to be not the final stages of the Joker. It's like a middle stage, because we've also got that big fluffy afro green wig version of him that appears to have the same makeup but it's not all smudgy and crappy looking. But to be fair, and I don't know for sure, we could actually be looking at a more accurate representation with this picture of what his final makeup will look like for the film. If I had to give my honest opinion, it would be, no sir, I don't like it. Honestly, I, I don't. I mean, I, creepy clown? Yes. Uh, Gacy? Sure. The Joker? Nah. I just, I don't see it. I'll still get behind the movie and enjoy it for what it is, but again, it's another change. The film universe seems to think, no, we need to totally make things more complicated. No! The Joker is a complex character with simple makeup. I mean, I guess the makeup is kind of simple, but they really tried to make it creepy, like he's a horror character and not the clown prince of crime, which is more and deeper than a simple horror character. But really, my main qualm would be, why are they moving away from the idea that the Joker fell in a vat of chemicals and his skin got bleached white and his hair turned green from it? They did the same thing with Ledger, and I was like, all right, he looks all right, kind of like for the Christian Bale Batman movie universe, I suppose he works, but really, I just want my Joker to fall into a vat of chemicals and have his skin all burned white. Is that too much to ask for? Just drop someone into a vat of chemicals. Just, just drop him in there. But as usual, I guess my final thought on it is just wait and see. We'll see how it turns out, because the makeup might match the overall tone of the movie, and the movie might work as a whole, and it might not work if they did the makeup any different or dropped him in a vat of chemicals. So I guess, as usual, wait and see, and be hopeful that it all works out in the end. And if not, then we can throw chairs and fling poop. And then the final thing I wanted to talk about is the comics that I picked up yesterday. Doomsday Clock, the next issue is finally out, and I'm really excited. If you're not reading it, you need to, because it was actually really cool. A lot of things have been waiting for to happen that the series kind of slow built up to sort of started to happen in this one. Then we got this, Justice League Odyssey, haven't read it yet, can't comment. Justice League Dark, haven't read yet either, can't comment. Action Comics 103, I really like this, however, as usual, we have a cover here that does not match at all what happened on the inside. I totally need to make a series <laughs> on comic covers that are just clickbait, that don't match the inside whatsoever. Seriously. This doesn't happen anywhere in the comic. Nowhere does anything even remotely like this happen. I get it, it's supposed to capture the essence of what happened, with Batman technically trying to save and protect Superman from the kryptonite, but that's still a misleading cover. Detective 989? Haven't read that yet either, so I can't comment. <coughs> Edit that out too, Brad. Don't keep that in the video. But yeah, I suppose that's the last thing I want to talk Oh, no, wait! Also, the multiverse figures. I'll be reviewing Spoiler and Harley Quinn soon, having a really close look at those. I try not to look at very many people's images and stuff like that online, so I spoil it for myself, but I did happen to see that Harley Quinn is taller than Spoiler and could really actually go with the DC Direct figures. I hope that I'm not seeing something correct. I'll find out during the review. Hopefully we'll find out together. Anyhow, with that, I think I'm done. I've spoken enough to incriminate myself into dumbhood that I should probably just end the video now. Thank you so much for watching. It means a lot to me that we're connecting like this. If you enjoyed this video, please pound it with a thumbs up. So I, you're supposed to do stuff like that, aren't you? Say things like, pound it with a thumbs up and bash it with a like. It's been kind of a theme in my videos. I've been kind of making fun of the whole thing. Honestly, though, if you like this video, please click the thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button if you want to see more of my face and see more of my collection and my reviews and my DC content. And then also, if you'd like to send me a letter or a postcard or a hand-drawn picture so I can put it back there on the wall, which is noticeably bare, just 
write me a letter. P.O. Box should be in the description of the video and also in my about section of this page. Okay, now I've talked too much. Let's end the video. Bye!